Oh, how do there, people? So, I'm into a said game, which is No Man's Sky. Oh, let me just turn that music down. Don't want you to have an echo there, people. Don't want you to have an echo. Right, now, last episode, I said I was going to delete this save and start a whole new one. So that's what I'm doing right now. So here we go, let's delete that. Chicka boom, because I figured I'm, I, I can't be asked to redo the expedition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in creative mode. Okay, now it's going to take a little while to load on in, even though this is on an SSD on my PC. It's not half as fast at loading as my PlayStation D5. Now I would have thought that that wouldn't have been the case. I would have thought it would have loaded just as quick, if not quicker. I've also adjusted my graphics settings. Somebody pointed out to me on my last test that streaming or trying to capture in 1080p using a 2 series graphics card probably isn't the best idea. Also, Streamlabs OBS only c captures up to 1080p. So yeah, it, it, it kind of feels that I could get away with a lower graphical resolution. So that's what I'm trying right now, people. A slightly lower graphical resolution. And we're going to see if that makes any sort of difference to my frame rate. And this sort of like little tip of starting in creative mode and then swapping it to whatever game mode you want to play in is great for giving you all the base parts. Great for giving you all the glyphs. What it isn't good for is giving you the trophies. So there's trophies to be had in this game if you complete it in permadeath or survival mode. But you have to start the game in permadeath or survival mode. It doesn't work if you start in creative mode and then swap it. It doesn't work. So yeah, just be aware of that. If you're a trophy hunter, this is not the tip for you people inside the viewerverse. Right, anyway, I'm just going to be quiet for a bit. I'm probably going to cut some of this out because this is freaking ridiculous. Right now, chums, well, we're into game. You can see there, there was no sort of initialization screen and none of the sort of intro stuff. So if you do want to skip the intro, this is a very good way to do that. And you can see here, you know, I, I, I can't even really notice that uh, I've turned down the graphical settings. So I went into display settings. I've put it to 1280 by 800 rather than 1080p. It should be 1920 by 1080. So, yeah, it's, it's I've knocked it down a tad. And you know what? I think it's running a fair bit better already. So yeah, I mean, there's obviously a couple of noticeable frame skips and things every time I move too fast still, but yeah, seems all right. Anyway, there's a base computer here. If I go to this base computer and just claim the base, boom. Yes, there we go. And uh, claim base, claim site, lovely jubbly. That's going to create a little auto save anyway. Um, but I can jump in my ship and out of my ship. The beauty of being in creative mode is you can also fix up all of your kit. Um, grab a free ship if you really want to. You can leave it in creative mode for as long as you want, basically. But then afterwards, when you put it into normal mode, you're going to have all the base parts available to you. It's so like right now, look, if I go into the menu right here, look, I've got all the base parts there. They're all right there, ready and waiting to be used. Freaking awesome. Okay. Nice, huh? Pretty darn freaking sweet as a little tip, to be honest. And you also end up with all of the glyphs, which is very cool. So if I go into here, go into, uh, what is it, Exploration Milestones? Is it Exploration? Or is it in Survival Milestones? I can't remember where it is anymore. It doesn't really overly make too much sense. Oh, um, it's somewhere in here. Anyway, you can, you, you've got all the glyphs, basically, people. Uh, where is it? Under there, Collected Resources, the Atlas. There we go. And then portal glyphs. There we go. I've got all 16 of them. All 16 of them straight away, people. You've also got all the blueprints. So if you wanted to, you could just go straight into here and craft yourself a shed ton of um, stasis devices. Because they're worth a shed load of freaking cashola. So you can sell them for as much as you freaking like, my friend. Fuck yes. There we are. Chicka boom. Got all those lovely bits and bobs. Sweet. Chicka pow. There we are. Why the fudge not? I could go up to the station, I could buy a shed load of modules, and then I could put it into normal mode, and then sell all the modules back to the actual vendors, get myself a shed ton of freaking nanites, people. So there we go, that's that's pretty much how you can start No Man's Sky super darn quickly. Let's just give this a bit more of a test, just to see how we're getting on for frames and all that sort of shenanigans. Let's just take off, let's go on up to the space station. I mean, to be honest, I think I think it's probably still having as much sort of you know, little mini frame skips as it had in the higher resolution 
You know what, it, it doesn't look too bad just in this resolution. Was that just me? I mean, it looks okay to me on, on my screen here. I'm going to have to watch this back on my smart TV downstairs, see what it looks like in 4K. But right now, looking at it on my little laptop screen, it looks freaking okay. So, we freaking nice. Anyway, let's fly inside of the station. Let's have a little butcher's inside of there and see how we are. Then I'll put it back into normal mode and I'll show you what, what I mean by you can just, you know, swap modes on the fly whenever you feel like it. Let's get inside of the old station. Now, I don't think I'm going to do any more of my playthrough on PC. I think I'm just going to focus on playing the Outer Worlds for now. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying doing that on my PlayStation 5. And then we'll wait and see what happens after this expedition. Some people think that after the expedition runs, we're going to get another expedition straight off the bat. I don't know whether that's going to be the case. I think they're probably going to throw at as the new Quicksilver parts first, the emojis, the holographic emojis, and then perhaps maybe an expedition. There was an 8 gigabyte download today on the old experimental branch over on PC, which is quite large for an experimental update that only contained a couple of optimization fixes. So, yeah, I've asked Kurt whether he minds diving into the files to see if he can see anything new in there. I'm hoping that he sees parts or folders for perhaps the expedition, but we'll wait and see what he comes back with, people inside the viewerverse. And if, I, if he does come back with something, I'll be sure to let you know. Oh, look at that. That was really slow, wasn't it? So, yeah, even on, even on changing the graphical resolutions, we're getting a little bit of um, annoyance there. And this is my PC that has got, you know, that latest update on it for optimization. I wouldn't say it's done a great deal, people. So there you go. Let's, let's just do that in anyway. Let's go talk to this little guy. So when I say about buying a load of nanites in a roundabout way, you're going to go to here, purchase modules, and buy all the sort of like orangey ones. I might as well buy the pink ones as well. Buy all these. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka pow. There's quite a good little medley there to actually install if I wanted, and just do that with all the vendors because you're in creative mode. So you know it's not going to cost you anything. Go to here, purchase modules. In fact, you, you could just buy the whole freaking lot. You know, you, you could go to town and just get everything. It doesn't overly really matter. Ticka dee dee, ticka dee dee, ticka dee. There you go. I've done all those. And go to the next one. Lovely job, Lou. Hello, mate. I'm going to buy all of his ones. Ticka dee dee. Purchase modules. Ticka pow, ticka pow, ticka pow, ticka pow, ticka pow. Now, what I would say is, even in this resolution, though, you see some of the edges to some of the text and some of the actual icons. To me, it looks a little bit fluffy on my uh, monitor, on my actual laptop screen. It doesn't look half bad, but there we are. Let's buy all these off of him as well. Hello, mate. Yeah, I just want to buy all your lovely modules. chick pow chick pow chick pow chick pow chick pow Doesn't matter if I missed a couple. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, inventory is full now. Okay, well, fine. We'll go back to him. Hello there, chap. And then just go to sell. Purchase, and then hit sell. And we're just going to sell them all. And look at my nanites just going through the freaking roof, mate. Look at that. How awesome is that? There we go. 7,000 nanites to get myself started. Why the heck not? Go through here. Lovely jobs. Go over to the actual galactic trade terminal. And all those lovely stasis devices. I'm just going to hit sell. I'm going to sell all them. Boom. There you go. I'm now a... A millionaire or something mental, well, nearly a millionaire, 900,000 or whatever. But yeah, pretty darn freaking lovely, huh? So once you're actually content and you feel you've got enough to get yourself started, you know, at that point, you can just go into options, go into difficulty, and stick it into whichever game mode you want to play in. You might have a relaxed save. There we go. Apply difficulty changes. Oh, yeah, lovely. I'm now in relaxed mode. How cool is that? Mm, accomplished and all sorts of other stuff. There we are. Magnate. Lovely. Right, well, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, make a little save. And that's pretty much how you can get up to speed with, uh, you know, getting your save up to some sort of standard. I mean, look at it. I've got all the reflections and everything going on. I've still got everything on ultra settings. And it seems to be a little bit smoother, doesn't it? Just knocking down the resolution slightly. So there you go, people. A little bit of a tip for you, Hercules. So I think when it comes to um, Starfield, I just need to play with my settings for a while and see if I can get it about right. Okay, anyways, let's um, let's quit to desktop. There we are. Ch boom, ch pal, and yes, players. And I'm going to jump back over here, make myself a little bit larger on screen, because why the fudge not? 
Oh no, wrong one. Uh, green me. There we are. So there we are, people. That's pretty much everything that I've got for the inside of the view of us. And it wasn't a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode because I haven't got a cup of tea. I forgot to make myself one. So there we are, people. Thank you very much for watching. Double thumbs up. Salute to Mondo. Drew, bye for now. Bye, so bye.